Tonight, Channel 7, along with the Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History. Hello, and welcome to the Ford Freedom Award program. Bessie Coleman was one of the thousands of black Southerners. There was a young African American woman who achieved great heights. Her name, Bessie Coleman. Young woman, black woman, black woman. I can't mention her name. Bessie Coleman avait deux combats. Affirmer le féminisme, mais surtout, émanciper sa communauté. Alors c'est bizarre, cette histoire. Partir de Chicago et arriver en France, au Crotois, ce qui a fait d'elle la première afro-américaine, la première noire, à piloter dans le monde entier. Forgive me, dear journal. I have to go back in time and write on your flyleaf. It will be worth it. On the liner from New York to Cherbourg, white people weren't as usual. It was amazing, as if the wind coming from France just blew all prejudice away. Passengers were polite to me. A young white man even smiled at me for a while. And from Cherbourg, I got to Paris. However, in a pretty brasserie, a Texas couple made a fuss because I was drinking lemonade next to them at the bar. The bartender kicked them out and I burst out laughing. Nights are as bright as days in Paris. I think I like nights better. Restaurants, clubs, crowded streets. At night, it almost feels like I'm still in Chicago. February 1st, 1921. It's not the first time I fly with my instructor, but the emotion is always the same. I feel like I have an appointment with the angels. But I must focus. We can't hear each other because of the engine's roar. I must get the feel of what the instructor is doing only by placing my hands and feet on the dual control commands. I must avoid grasping it too tightly for accidents happened before because of panicking students. In 1921, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, a city where the black middle class was prospering, white jealousy followed the same path that it had in Wilmington, North Carolina. In an incident that was minor, in an elevator where a young black man touched, tripped and touched a white woman, that became the trigger for rioting against blacks. The white newspapers spread rumors of black male assaults on white women, but the underlying resentment on the part of whites was towards black success, economic success. Where Bessie was learning how to fly to entertain people and show the delights of flight, the people of Tulsa, the white people of Tulsa, used airplanes to terrorize the black community.